right. I hope you guys are freaking excited because I am excited because this is the fun part of the chorus. This is Amazon FBA product research. This is where the magic happened. This is where the money is made. So we are going to be focusing on viral launch for much of this course um, because it is the best software available now, right? Originally it was Jungle Scout um, and now viral launch has just really been exploding and expanding and their team is very passionate and they're just doing very big things. Um, the CEO is one of my good friends um, and so he's provided us with such amazing support and such priority um, for all of my students in such an incredible way. And so. The main tools that we are going to be using for Amazon FBA product research are going to be called market intelligence and product discovery, right? We see that for, um, for $59 a month, you can get uh, product discovery if you pay monthly, uh, annually, um, you can get market intelligence, um, sales estimates and a Chrome extension and product discovery. Um, you can get this all for $49 a month if you pay annually or you can get it for $59 a month if you pay uh, monthly, right? And so for our purposes, guys, all we need are these first two, right? Viral Launch is incredibly good at product research. For keyword research and all of this, we are gonna save you guys some money um, and we are gonna recommend another tool when we get to it. But for most of the stuff that we're gonna be doing for the entire course, right, as far as um, product research, photos, a lot of different things. Viral Launch provides the best service and they give us incredible discounts, guys. These are the public facing, um, uh, these are the public facing prices. Um, the prices that you are gonna get right down here for uh, mar market intelligence and for product discovery are the cheapest prices anywhere, available anywhere. None of the other um, YouTubers, none of the other influencers, none of the, no one else on earth has the prices that you guys have available to you for these products. So the main things we're going to be concerned with are market intelligence and product discovery. As you can see, um, you get all of that for the intermediate pricing um, or if you want the uh, category search, which is helpful as well. Um, you can pay for the $79 a month option. But for most of us, right, what's going to be the best uh, kind of deal is either intermediate or advanced, right? So one of these two um, I generally recommend people who are serious about this to just go ahead and grab the advanced option, which will, of course, there will be links to market intelligence and product discovery at the absolute cheapest prices right below this video. So let's jump into it. Um, so this video is going to be kind of an introduction to what viral launch looks like um, and how to reframe your mind. And when I, when I mean reframe your mindset, I mean going throughout your day, <clears throat> everything that I see and everything that I interact with. I think about Amazon FBA and maybe that's unhealthy, but it's, you know, it's helped me become very successful selling on Amazon FBA. Like for example, I'll go to like a, a you know, a Mexican restaurant and I'll see that like little rubber mat that the, that like they have in the kitchen that people stand on that food falls in, right? Like a restaurant, um, non-slip mat, or I'll see like a little menu holder, like an acrylic menu holder. And I'll think to myself, Hmm, could I sell that on Amazon? And I, you just take notes on my phone all throughout the day. And then I come back and I check, on these products via viral launch to see if the landscape is competitive, right? We're going to look at uh, how many monthly searches are they getting? How many reviews do they have? How many people are trying to sell this product? Is there room for improvement on this product, right? What are the negative reviews saying? Could I improve the quality of the product? Could I add something to it to bundle? And don't worry, we're going to talk about all of this much more in depth as we move throughout this module, but it's just important to kind of get your mindset um, in a place where you're thinking about Amazon FBA, you know, throughout your, your day to day life, because sometimes the best ideas will just come to you, right? So this is product discovery, guys. Um, we can see right here, that if we go to search, um, there's a couple of options up here. Um, there's the normal product discovery, right? And what this means is you put in um, the categories you wanna see, you put in, you know, okay, I wanna see products that have a minimum of $10,000 a month revenue, that have a minimum price of $15, that have a minimum review count, or excuse me, a maximum review count of maybe like 50 or 100 reviews or whatever the case may be, and then you press show products and it shows you, right? Keyword, actually you can choose the category. Similarly, you can choose the, um, you know, the maximum review count you wanna see, the minimum average monthly revenue of all the products you want them to show you. And then instead of showing you actual exact products, 
they show you keywords, right? And this is one of my favorite ways to use Viral Launch. And we're gonna talk about all of this much more in depth. I'm, this, this video is literally just meant to introduce you to like all that's available to you and all of the advanced filters. This is really where you, know, you can kind of differentiate yourself from everyone else searching and really find the true diamond in the rough product. So we're gonna focus on you know, how I use these a lot in a, in a little bit. Um, and then brand. So brand shows you actual brands that sell on, on Amazon. Obviously like Nike is a brand, but they're not a brand that we'd ever wanna compete with, but it's just an example of a brand. It shows like little companies that sell tea or you know people that sell supplements or whatever the case may be. And you can jump very in depth on those brands and look at you know their sales history, if they're improving or going down or, or what's kind of going on and gets, gives you a lot of ideas about what you could potentially um, you know, if you could potentially compete or create a, a product similar to what that brand is selling. And then category obviously shows you, you know, in-depth categories and you can take a look at uh, things related to the categories themselves. So this is product discovery. This is a web app, right? You use it in a, you know, by itself in a website right here. Market intelligence is actually a Chrome extension. So for example, if we come into Amazon and search garlic press, um, we would search this little, we press this little button after we install the market intelligence Chrome extension, right? And it would show us all of the top sellers on page one, right? So it's showing us Alpha Girlers is on page one. They're doing about $22,000 a month, selling at $9.97, um, uh, $9.97, which means they have 2,255 sales every single month. We can see how many reviews they have, their review rate, right? Their review rating, like what their average reviews are. Um, a lot of different stuff we can really see here. We can even see net profit estimates, but these are very, very inaccurate in all software, right? Gar or, uh, Viral Launch does a good job of this, but you can never rely on, on net profit because it's impossible for them to calculate that, for anyone to calculate that because they don't know how much your cost of goods sold are. They don't know how much you're paying for shipping. So it's a good baseline, very, very general idea, but you need to do the calculation yourself and we'll teach you how to do that um, in a little bit using a tool called the Amazon FBA fee calculator. So this is the Market Intelligence Chrome extension, right? It's very, it's incredibly necessary to have both the product discovery and the market intelligence, right? The web app and the uh, Chrome extension because we're gonna be using them all the time, right? So check out the links in the description. Um, if you wanna go monthly, do monthly, right? If you wanna go annual, do annual, um, but we're going to need it. It's one of the most important parts of the entire process um, regarding Amazon FBA. Um, and we're gonna be using it in all the rest of the videos throughout the entire course. And we're gonna show you some really, really cool tricks how you can find you know, products doing $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, or even you know, 30,000 or more every single month and how you can actually enter that market and make a bunch of profit, right? So the last thing that we're gonna talk about is what I like to call the iTrack 999 cart method. And this is something that I actually created um, a long time ago, the iTrack method. Um, when I first started on Amazon FBA, I didn't even know people didn't know this. Like I thought that everyone was doing this, but no one was doing it. And then it became super popular and now everybody kind of does this thing where they set a max order quantity, um, which I'll talk about in a second. So if we go to my cart here, we have a product, right? Similar to one of the ones we sell. So what we're gonna do is we wanna know how many units they have today, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 10 plus here and we're gonna search 999. And what we see is we get this error that says this seller only has 623 of these available, right? And so if we did this same thing tomorrow, right? It might say this seller only has 600 of these available, meaning that it sold 620, or excuse me, 23 units in one day. Right, this is the only true source of data still to be able to know exactly how much people sell in one day, right? And so because this became so popular when we introduced it, you know, uh, over a year ago, now what people do is they, a lot of times people will set what's called a max order quantity. And a max order quantity will say, this seller has a limit of 20 per customer. So, so that you can't see this, right? And so people got smarter when I introduced that. And so now often you'll see um, people that have 20 uh, unit limits or five unit limits per customer. So we can't see this data, right? And there is ways around this uh, by, by you know, checking out multiple sources of data, looking at Google Trends, looking at Camel, Camel, Camel sales history, looking at a lot of different kind of sources of data. You can still make very intelligent due diligence in, uh, decisions about products to actually sell um, without having access to this data, right? But this is the truest source of data. I always, if I can, like to at least, you know, record three to five days of iTrack 999 cart trick method, right, in a spreadsheet. So I would come in here and I would write, you know, on day one, 
there was 623. Day two, there was 600. Day three, there was 550. Day, you know, 500 and maybe 475. And then I would take, you know, every every day that they sold, like 20, 23 units, uh, 50 units, I would average that. And then I'd be able to very, very realistically say, okay, this person is selling 25 units a day or whatever it is, right? And um, it, once you know that, then you feel very safe about being able to invest in a product because you know that this person is selling 25 a day. And you can even do the iTrack 999 cart truck method on multiple people on page one. And then you can get a super, super good idea of what's actually going on, right? So the other way that you can do this, guys, is if you come in here, and this is less accurate, but it's the most accurate way to do this quickly, right? The iTrack 999 cart truck method takes a long time. Um, it is accurate. Uh, it's very accurate, but there's a, there's a better way to do it quicker, but it's not always accurate. And these are the two best ways to do it, guys. So in the Chrome extension, we can come over to market trends, right? And what we see is estimated sales trends, and we can see actually how many units are selling on these days, right? We can see the average price trend. We can see the average review trend. Um, and we can see the annual sales, right? 91% year over year. So it's improving. Best, best selling period is April, right? And then if you want to see the numbers just for one individual listing, right? You can click on any of these and then just um, load the Chrome extension um, on this one specific listing. And then instead of showing you kind of the overall landscape of all of the products, it'll show you just the one that you clicked on, right? And it'll show you monthly later do 3944 divided by you know 30 days in a month it's selling about 131 units a day but again that is an estimate the real true way to do it is by using the iTrack 999 cart trick method right and the reason that 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 is true is because oftentimes people can set max order quantities or maybe they only have one unit left and it's impossible for any single piece of software to be able to track that as accurately as doing it one at a time with the iTrack 999 but this is the best way to estimate significantly faster and there's other ways to actually um, kind of also look at this right so for example if this is getting you know 120 sales a day we can, what we can do is look at the BSR chart and what the BSR chart means is if, if this the BSR which we'll explain in a little bit um, later on in this in this uh, module is the best seller ranking and so you want a BSR as low as possible if you have a one BSR that means you literally are the best selling ranking product in that particular category and subcategory. So if you had a one, that's incredible. And there's remember, there's multiple millions of products on Amazon. And so we can see this product recently has had a you know a three digit BSR, which is incredible in such a competitive category um, as you know home and kitchen and things like that. Um, and if we see that it goes you know all the way up to eight thousand here, but you can see a BSR like literally in like the hundreds of thousands or even millions of, of uh, you know, in really competitive categories. But if you have a, a BSR under 10,000 in, a, in a, a competitive category, then especially if it's sustained, right? We see that this is all the way sustained back until July. It means that this person's selling a ton of units every single day, right? So that gives us a lot more comfort, more comfort than just like the sales numbers or just um, if we if we aren't able to actually do the iTrack 99 cart trick method on a particular product, we can look at the BSR, the best seller rank, and we want to see a history of low numbers. And we can also look at the estimated sales um, right here to give us a lot more kind of, um, you know, give us more of a, a, a complete picture. And we're going to talk about better ways to e feel even more comfortable because I want to kind of operate under the assumption that you aren't going to be able to, to use the iTrack 999 card trick method always. And I want to show you guys how to do your due diligence and how to feel very comfortable um, investing in a product even if you can't see it, right? If you can see it, then that's great. Do the iTrack 999 card trick method on the top five products in organically um, ranking for your highest volume keyword, which we're going to explain in what I like to call the five steps of product research um, a little bit later on in this module, right? If you can do the eye track, great. If you can't, then I'm going to show you exactly how to feel the most comfortable possible with all of the other data that's available to you so that you can make the right decision. Because, you know, no matter what any other YouTubers, no matter what any other gurus say, I don't care. If you pick the right product, you can do pretty much everything else wrong and still make a profit. And so that's why this module is going to be the biggest. That's why this module is going to be the most in-depth. And that's why this module, right, you should be putting away your phone, turn off Facebook, right, stop sliding into the DMs and take notes on this because everything that we teach in this particular module 
is going to make or break most of the people um, who, who are going to be investing in Amazon FBA. It's the most important part of the entire process, choosing a product, which is why we're going to go into the most depth. So I hope you enjoyed this video, Introduction to Market Intelligence and Product Discovery, right? the two best pieces of software on Amazon um, for product research. And of course, down below in the description, you have two um, amazing discounts for these two pieces of software that you should absolutely take advantage of. Um, hope you enjoy this one, guys, and we'll see you on the next.